a new gaming beast is here. But will it crush the competition? This is my Poco F4 GT in-depth review. Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again and here before the launch of this gaming beast, the Poco F4 GT. So excited to finally show this one off to you all, but let's see what's inside the box. A 120 watt charger and of course your case and your USB-C cable. Pretty standard unboxing. Let's go right into design. 8.5 millimeters, 210 grams for this Poco F4 GT. Similar sizing, but you know, the design is reminding me of previous phones quite a bit. It's more of a gaming phone. Yes, you have the triggers, but it's a little bit, I guess, more industrial, a bit less refined than we've seen from Poco previously with the Poco F3. And overall, guys, though, solid design, and that goes for the display as well. 6.67 inch AMOLED 120 hertz display, solid viewing angles for this phone. And the F4 GT has very tiny bezels from bottom to top, center punch hole. This is pretty standard, guys, and I think you're going to get the theme of this video. A kind of standard experience from this phone. They're not really reinventing the wheel here. And watching content is solid with this Poco F4 GT and with DRM Info L1, baby. That means it's an L1 party on Frankie Tech. Oh, yeah. Now talking about performance, we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 12 gigs, 256 GB. And I was a bit surprised though, 13 degree increase here. Great scores, but we're still seeing that same overheating here on this phone, guys, from the other 8 Gen 1s. Software, we have the MIUI 13 Android 12 combo. It's a solid software experience, but there's not too much difference here from Poco to the other Xiaomi devices. Now here's the deal guys, this is a gaming beast and how does it handle in gaming? Now the shoulder triggers are important and you can set those up and they do lead to a pretty good experience. Very responsive, very clicky, solid response from these and even playing 60 FPS, no problems whatsoever. You can definitely have a decent gaming experience, but the big concern, guys, is that Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Will it be able to handle the heat? I've heard from other reviewers at the moment, it is definitely overheating, but in my experience at least, so far, it's been decent. That's right, the speakers really do a great job. It, it is an immersive experience, I'll give it that. But once again, it's because of the overheating issues we've seen with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 that I do need to give a little bit of pause. I didn't suffer it in my gaming, but you know, par for the course, guys. See how your experience is. In terms of battery, we have a 4,700 milliampere capacity, 120 watt wired charging. And you know what? The charging was actually really impressive on this phone. I was able to go from pretty much two or three percent all the way to 99% in around 24 minutes. I mean, that's pretty solid charging for any type of phone, and this Poco F4 GT has it 100%. And the fingerprint scanner is capacitive, but I gotta admit, guys, this scanner is getting a bit old now. I've been seeing it on so many Poco Xiaomi phones. I would love to see optical, you know, different types of fingerprint scanner technologies from Poco in the future. And talking about the vibration motor, this I cannot complain about folks. One of the best ever on Poco, a terrific vibration motor, flagship level in every way. And also I gotta say 5G performance has been terrific. You'll have all the latest comms, Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6E, and here's all the network connectivity information you need for this Poco F4 GT. 5G speeds were through the roof, a terrific performer in this regard. 
and of course dual speakers here Dolby Atmos also capable device let's have a listen What can I say? An 8.5 out of 10. One of the best speaker systems I've heard on any phone this year. And talking about the cameras, we have a 64 megapixel main sensor and we have an 8 megapixel ultra wide, yes, 2 megapixel macro. I don't want to speak about that one too much. The main sensor here is the story and solid results here, guys, from this main camera, also from the ultra wide. Listen to it there, super fast shutter, and I gotta say, you know, despite being a gaming phone, you're still getting a terrific camera main shooter from this phone. But have a look at these samples and hit me up in the comments. What do you think? This is rear-facing video on the Poco F4 GT, shooting in 4K 30 FPS. Very beautiful day here in Hong Kong, over here in the Tamar Park area. Anyway guys, hope you're doing well, staying safe. Restrictions easing here in Hong Kong, so the people are out and about. But listen to the mics, hear how they sound, and hit me up in the comments, what do you think? And this is front-facing video on the Poco F4 GT, shooting in 1080p 30 fps and you know pretty standard here for xiaomi phones 1080p on the front but in good lighting like this of course this phone will do a terrific job but listen to the mics here they sound and hit me up in the comments what do you think so here we go folks the final verdict on this poco f4 gt big shoes to fill guys from the poco f3 one of my favorite phones of 2021 does it deliver yes it does it definitely is a better phone through and through but i just feel that poco is kind of going through the motions here gaming is excellent don't get me wrong but the snapdragon hn1 you know it gets me nervous that we've been here done that with this phone it's a solid gaming phone but it's starting to feel a little bit like a bit more of the same from poco don't get me wrong a terrific phone but i just i guess expected a little more difference here but thoughts on poco f4 gt hit me up guys i want to hear your honest thoughts on this phone i'd love to hear about it and that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon for future updates. Thanks once again to Poco for sending this out. Still recommend this device, guys, 100%. Terrific phone. Go pick it up. And this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. <sighs> Great phone, guys. But a Poco F3, it ain't.